Kiwi. The best ideas are free. A little bit earlier on this Monday morning with Ben Young at uh, boegie.com, bwagy.com. Morning, Ben. Good morning. Today I'm talking about morning rituals and yearly rituals. And yeah, rituals. so, so um, I picked up this great book a few weeks ago. Uh, it's, it's called End Malaria. So they're raising money to end malaria. Yeah. And they basically got 20, uh, yeah, about 20 top-notch business authors authors yeah um just to write a couple of pages and one of the ones that really stuck out to me was someone saying design your morning ritual huh. and they were saying most of us and this is so true what we do in the morning is it's just all reactive it's zombie yeah yeah a little yeah. bit zombie if, if you have a family i think it's a bit more planned but it's still fairly reactive and just going through the the routine yeah yeah, yeah. um and they were saying actually design your morning ritual so that each day you have a great start and I know that's not always possible, but going, hey, look, you feel 100% better if you go for a swim before you eat breakfast, yeah. or if you spend 20 minutes watching Good Morning or listening to Cry the radio. Dick. <laughs> well, I don't know, but um, you, you get the idea. Yeah. Just actually sitting down and going, actually, I, I have a great day when I do this, this, and this, yeah. and then consciously trying to do that. Right. Um, I think that it's a very, very smart idea in terms of, what you do in the morning can set the tone for the rest of the day. Yeah, that's true. And if you jump off on the wrong foot, like it can have many implications all the way through. I suppose whether that's even just having a decent breakfast. Yeah, so um, that's difference. definitely one. When I did it, I was like, oh, I don't have a decent breakfast frequently enough. Yeah. I tend to do the get up, rush off to the office. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, so I've like ninety percent of the population probably. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, and it, so yeah, that'll that that'll set you in good stead for the day, but. Yeah. Are the rituals for a longer term? Yeah, so things? so I was thinking about that, and then um, as usual, because well, Young and Shan, we work in marketing, we get people two weeks before an event saying, oh, "I need to do something before this." Mm. So about three weeks before the Rugby World Cup, I had, oh, "I need to do this before Rugby World Cup." Yeah, um, before Christmas, we always get it. Yeah, um, and usually around some other holidays like Labor Day or um, Easter or um, anniversary weekend, um, but so. Just taking the time to sit down and go, in a year, you know, what are the key industry events that I should know about? Okay, there's an industry conference in Wellington. I should probably prepare for that. Maybe we should look at having a store there. Or yeah. What, what are the what are the key public events happening this year? Like, for example, had Rugby World Cup. Um, you know, what could your company have done? And planning those out so that they happen beforehand. Um, just because I think, like the morning ritual, mm. it, it can tend to get reactive fairly quickly because they only happen once a year, yeah. so you always forget till the last minute. But if you can take the time and do the preparation, you can get vastly ahead of it. Just need a wall planner, don't you? One yeah, of those yeah. big wall planners yeah, yeah. with the big but, red X mark. Yeah, and, and just <laughs> yeah, just twenty minutes to say, okay, Christmas is here. Yeah, four months beforehand, I should have started working on whatever I'm doing for Christmas. Yeah, and do the same for like what you know, what's important to you, your employees, things like company returns, all that kind of stuff. So that'll be like eating a good breakfast for yes. your business. Yeah, for your business. <laughs> <laughs> nice, a couple of really helpful tips there, I think. Yeah. Um, so something to think about this morning uh, while you're panicking about Christmas, but start thinking about 2012 yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah, or yeah. even 2013. Yeah, plan for next year. <laughs> yeah. Um, more tips over at bwagy.com and also on Twitter as well. Thanks very much, Ben. Cheers.